welcome back to our series on understanding personality dimensions. I'm Ann Bolstrode, and this is Susan Geary, and we're both Master Personality Dimensions Facilitators. Today, we'd like to share with you some insights into the Authentic Blue Leader. Like all the colors, Authentic Blues can make great leaders. However, they don't often choose to be at the forefront of political and organizational activity. They prefer to play the role of mentor, change agents, and advocates. Susan, would you like to share with us some of the strengths of the Authentic Blue Leader? Yes, Anne, and I'm going to focus on one of the points you mentioned, which is that Authentic Blue Leaders are great coaches and mentors. They have the ability to unearth the potential in others, and then they'll work with them to help them develop their strengths so they can really shine. They're also great motivators and encouragers, and they will give positive recognition to help people understand what they're doing well. They also truly are mentors and they will mentor people way beyond when they actually worked for the leader. Um, they might mentor them on leadership skills or um, mentor them on a, the next career step, but they truly will spend time on that. The other area in which they shine is building a strong team they really believe in teamwork and they'll really encourage participants to work together as a team. Whenever possible, they'll work towards consensus and also they really will allow team members the leeway to achieve their goals in their own way. So it would be they don't micromanage. Another strength they bring to the table is that they tend to be inspirational leaders. They are big picture thinkers so that they can develop a vision and for their unit or their organization. And then they can be charismatic in using words, stories or metaphors to encourage others to follow them. So those are the core strengths. Anne, would you like to add anything? No, I don't think so, Susan. You've done a great uh, job of explaining their core strengths. What I would like to do now, though, is talk a little bit about their challenges. As I've said in our other videos, all the colors have challenges. Doesn't make any of them any better or worse than any of the others. It's just who we are. So when we look at the authentic blue leader, they really don't like conflict and they'll actually go out of their way to avoid it at times. Now, this can make it difficult when they're in a situation where they need to discipline an employee. And unfortunately, there are times when you do need to discipline your employees. However, rather than spending the time to just do the disciplining, get it over with and move on, they'll actually spend time and sometimes considerable time coaching the employee to improve. Only as a last resort will they actually discipline an employee. And when they actually get around to doing it, this may cause them a lot of stress. Now, this approach can waste a lot of time when discipline would be the best um, path to dealing with the employee at the time. Also, when it comes to hard-headed negotiations, that's not a blue, where a blue likes to be. Now, blues are great at negotiating win-win, finding those solutions for everybody to get through it and come out with the best solution possible. However, again, as we know, there are times when as a leader, you need to take that hard-headed stance. And as a blue, that's not where they like to be. And it can sometimes, again, be quite stressful for them. And finally, authentic blue leaders have to be careful of not burning out. Because they are so attuned to their employees, um, they will take the time to listen to them, uh, whether it be about their professional or their personal. As you mentioned, Susan, they'll quite often mentor an employee right the way through their life, which is great, except sometimes that um, role can be very time consuming. And in the long run, this can lead to them having less time to focus on the organizational priorities that they need to be focusing on as a leader. And even, even they may actually not focus on their own personal or uh, family lives, which isn't a good thing either. So as an authentic blue, they do need to be that little bit hard headed at times, and they do need to take the time to learn how to, where, how and where to draw the line with their employees. Susan, can you think of anything I've missed in terms of some of the challenges the Authentic Blue Leader faces? An excellent summary, Anne. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the, on the Authentic Blue Leader 
and have gained some insight into them. If you have an authentic blue leader, you might want to watch our video on the tips and techniques for working for an authentic blue leader. In the meantime, we look forward to chatting with you again and stay safe and stay well.